So in a previous video, we spoke about 10 different ways on how to say Jazakallahu Khairan. Now, today we want to speak about four different ways on how to respond to Jazakallahu Khairan and two ways on how to not respond to Jazakallahu Khairan. The first one, when somebody says Jazakallahu Khairan, the most common answer is Wa Iyaka. Wa Iyaka. That's the formal way of saying it. Wa Iyaka if it's a male. Wa Iyaki if it's a woman. What I would suggest is just stick to Wa Iyak. So it uses or is useful for male and for female. Wa Iyak. Now if it's a group of people, you will say Wa Iyakum. Wa Iyakum. And it doesn't matter if it's a group of females or if, if it's a group of males or, you know, uh, mixed. If you say Wa Iyakum, it is still correct. So that's the first answer. Wa Iyak or Wa Iyakum. The second answer is Wa Jazak. If somebody tells you, Jazak Allahu Khairan, you say wa jazak, wa jazak, meaning and may you be rewarded as well. The third answer is very similar to the second one, but instead of saying wa jazak, which means and may you be rewarded as well, you would say and you would use a different harf atf and say bal jazak, bal jazak, which basically means if I tell you Jazak Allahu Khairan, may Allah reward you, and you say bal jazak, you are saying rather may He reward you, meaning it's like a humble way of saying I haven't done anything but rather that you need to be rewarded for this. Bal jazak. Bal jazak. All right? So the same applies if it was a group of females or a group of men. You say bal jazakum and that would, you know, respond to the whole group. Now the fourth way on how to respond to jazakallahu khairan, it could be with a different dua. If somebody says jazakallahu khairan, it's completely fine if you say wa baraka fik. Wa baraka fik. And here you can not mention the name of Allah because his name was mentioned in what they have told you. They say jazak Allahu khairan. So by you saying wa baraka fik, you are basically and he's understood that you are saying and may he put the baraka in you. So you don't need to mention the name of Allah. And if you mention, it's completely fine as well. So somebody will say jazak Allahu khairan. You will say wa baraka Allahu fik. All right. But repeating it, it becomes uh, repetitive. So it's more eloquent. If somebody says jazak Allahu khairan, you say wa baraka fik. Wa baraka fik. The same applies if it's a group of male or females or whatever you might be. You you could say wa baraka fikum wa baraka fikum now let's go to the two ways on how to not respond now the first way is basically by using huruf articles that are not correct to use here so many people you know somebody will tell them jazakallahu khairan and they would say wa fik or they might say wa laka or they might say wa alayk and these articles here are not correctly used so you don't say any of these you don't say somebody says jazakallahu khairan you don't say wa fik you don't say wa alayk wa lak you don't say none of this the second way on how to not respond is by saying wa anta. Many people they hear Jazakallahu khair and they say wa anta. But here it doesn't make sense because anta is a pronoun that is only used when it falls in a state of rafa. All right. So if this sounds like Chinese, it's completely fine. It has to do with grammar. But for those of you who are a little bit more advanced, anta is for when it falls into rafa, and iyaka is when it falls into mansub nasb. So this is why we would say wa iyak instead of wa anta, even though technically it means the same, all right? So here you guys have four ways on how to respond to Jazakallahu Khairan and two ways on how to not respond. See you guys on the next one.